Hi guys, so today I am back with another beautiful, wonderful Hot Topic haul. And I got a lot of goodies because I realized it was time to cash in hot cash and I managed to have some hot cash lying around as I always do and we went to the outlets in Grove City and I like going into that Hot Topic. I think they have a bigger selection and just a lot of different things than my local Hot Topic because my local Hot Topic is a discount store so they don't necessarily get the new stuff in as quick. So it was so cool to see some of the stuff that I haven't seen at my store yet and things that I've just found out about or like been wanting and so I'm super excited to have purchased everything and I get to share it with you guys today. Is this the only thing that's in here? Ye gats. Is everything in this little bag then? Oh, I'm worried. Is this all that I got? I thought that I got more than this. Okay. So the reason why I don't think I have it as much is because my mom did get a ornament set and then she got two bags of high chew candy. That be that be why. But I'm super excited for everything that I got. So the first thing that I got, which the boxes were all kind of damaged. I'm kind of sad, but I might just take them out of box. I'm not sure yet. But I got the Hot Topic exclusive Funko. These used to be, oh, this is the Fantastic Plastic series. And um, it is the Spicy Oodles. So it's the Spicy Cup of Noodles. And um, yeah, this box is literally so bad. I don't even know why I took this. Like, it's ripped here. They had given us one and the box was all fine, but the image on the front was like ripped, like there was no picture. And there's like a slice in the front here, there's a cut up here, it's smashed in the back. Whatever, I'm probably just gonna take him out now. He looks so, so cool. It's a little spicy cup of ramen with his chapsticks. And then on the... On the booty it says hot, like he's a hot piece of ass. And then on the top it says spicy ramen cup. He's literally so cool. I think I'm just gonna leave him out of box. And then we were at the register. So I'd never seen this one in the store before. I have the two pack of this, but I don't have him by himself. This is How to Train Your Dragon, but for some reason the box says DreamWorks Dragons. And it is a little toothless. Is he? Oh, he's glittery. That's so cool. So it says Hot Topic exclusive and he's like a clear transparent -y type of, or like an opaque black with actual glitter on the inside. So he's all glittery. That is so awesome. I love Toothless so much. I think he's the cutest. And I love the box on this and how it kind of like curves up at the bottom instead of just being flat. Then they also got in the which I had seen this one on the Hot Topic website a while back, but it was a pre-order, so I never did it because whenever I pre-order anything from Hot Topic, it takes forever, so I just didn't even want to bother. And their store had her, and she is the absolute cutest. Then I got a bunch of pins, which I'm super, super excited about. So I got another Loungefly ice cream cone pin, which this box is literally so light that I'm almost nervous there's nothing in it. Pin in there. Okay. So they only had one of these, but if I get another poo, I'm going to give it to my mom. I actually have two of these already up here and I'm gonna do them in a future unboxing. I'm gonna unbox these. So stay tuned for that video. I did already unbox some of these on the channel um, and if you guys want to see that I'll link it up above. I got a World of Studio Ghibli or Ghibli. It just depends on who you are I guess. Um, I'm super excited about this because it has Castle in the Sky which is one of my favorite favorite um, one's Kiki's Delivery Service, which I love that as well. Spirited Away, there's two of them, and then Howl's Moving Castle, 
which I loved all those films um, when I was younger, so I really hope I get one of those. I don't mind getting Totoro, but I never really watched Totoro, so I hope I get one from those, but if not, I think that they're all really, really cute design. And then they had a whole box of these. Uh, these look so funky. Uh, it's the Horror Cat uh, collection, so like that's the box. And then it looks like you can get the Grim Reaper, a uh, vampire, a mummy. There's a ghost, which is my favorite. I love the ghost. A slasher, which is also my favorite because it looks like my parents' cat, Shadow. And then one with like an axe. They're all cute. Um, I just got one because they're not like lounge fly or anything. And I just think that they're cute like little horror pins. So I've seen this like maybe two days ago. And I'm super excited because they had it. Um, they didn't have any chases. I looked at them. It is the Harry Potter pop pins and they had Nagini and the Basil Basilisk as well, but I had to get Buckbeak because I love Buckbeak so much. Buckbeak is my favorite, um, mystical creature or magical creature, um, I just love him so, so much. He's my absolute favorite. And I don't own any of these pop pins. I don't think I'm going to take him out of box, though, because it looks like a pop. Um, and they're honestly not that heavy, but they're super, super detailed. And they are really expensive. This was $15.90, which is crazy. But it's really big and super cute. I saw this. This was the first thing that I picked up for myself in the store. And I was like, I have to bring him home. The last thing I got, I have been wanting this purse ever since I saw it get announced. But I was like, I really don't need any more purses. I really don't need more purses. They never had it in my store. I had seen it at the outlets before and I was like, I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to spend $45 on it. They still had it when I had my hot cash. So... There was no going back and I was with my mom and even though we just bought a bunch of purses, she said it was cute and I was like, okay, she's not holding me back. It is this Coraline bag and if you guys have seen my uh, most recent video that I have up as of now, as I'm filming this, I got a Coraline tattoo on Halloween. I'll link that up above if you guys missed it, but I'm super excited to have this bag. I love that it's like a legit like kind of picture from Coraline and it just looks so cute. I love the blue and it says be careful what you wish for which I think is so nice as well and it's got all the buttons on the corner. I don't have any lounge fly purse that is this style of bag but I love it and then on the back it's all black with a few little buttons down here and it says Coraline lounge fly and I love the Coraline logo because the cat is the L. It is the beautiful blue inside, and then it does have the crossbody strap as well. I just, they released so much Coraline stuff this year, and I'm obsessed with it. I think I got everything. Should we open up these now, or should I save them? I think I'll save the horror cat one for that, just as like an icebreaker, but let's go ahead and actually open up the World of Studio Ghibli. Um, and see what we get. I really want Kiki's delivery service. <gasps> it's not in a blind bag. So when you look inside, it's just in there. So we got Ponyo. I never watched this. Whoa! But I'm pretty sure it's eating, I don't know the technical term, but the meat with the ramen. And the meat's actually rubber. That is so cool. It's not enamel. Oh, and on the back it says Ponyo. And it's a really nice size. This was $8.90, so same as the lounge fly. Let me know if you guys want me to get more of these and do an entire video on it and just see what we can pull. Um, you guys can go ahead and leave a comment. Or if this video gets to 25 likes, I will go ahead and get some more of these to unbox on the channel. I think it would be fun. And it would be a change of pace from the lounge fly ones. So thank you guys so much for watching. 
and I will see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.